Hello students and welcome to my channel Math Sub. So today in this video we are going to understand the logical connector disjunction. To follow my previous videos to understand about sentence and statement and the conjunction operator, right? So let us understand what is disjunction. Now the definition of disjunction operator is that if P and Q are two propositions, the disjunction of P and Q is represented by the victory symbol P or Q and the meaning is P or Q. So disjunction symbol is victory and the English meaning is or. Right? So let us understand it with the help of an example. P statement is Raj plays cricket and Q statement is Raj plays football. So what will be P or Q? You will say that Raj plays cricket or football. You need to connect the two statements with the help of the or operator. Right? So, in the next slide, let us understand the truth table for the disjunction operator. So, again, the inputs are P and Q. And what is your output? The output is P or Q. So, what can be the possible inputs? Both P and Q can be true statement. One of them is true and one of them is false. Or both of them are false. Right? So, when both are true, obviously, you are taking or. It is going to be a true statement. Even when one of them is true, that will also give you a true result. And when both are false, it will give you a false result. Right? So it is totally opposite of the disjunction operator. So that means P or Q or the disjunction operator is only false when both are false. The rest every time it is always going to be a true statement. Right? So let us understand this truth table with the help of this example. So our proposition is Raj plays cricket and Raj plays football. And our argument is that we have to see that Raj plays cricket or football. Any one of them. right? So when we take the first case, case number one, that P is a true statement. That means Raj is playing cricket. And let's take the second statement Q as also a true statement. Raj plays football. So our argument was P or Q. Either he plays cricket or he plays football. So we are taking one of them, right? Any one of them. So this is automatically going to be a true statement. Now the second case is case number two. When P is a true statement and Q is a false statement, right? So Raj is playing cricket. Raj plays cricket. Or Raj doesn't play football. Right. So our argument was or we have to select any one. So he is playing cricket. We are okay with it. So P or Q will again give us a true result. Case number three is when P is a false statement and Q is a true statement. So P or Q that sorry. Yeah. P is a false statement and Q is a true statement. That means Raj doesn't play cricket. And Raj is playing football. So we have to make the or combination. So we will say Raj doesn't play cricket or Raj plays football. So at least he is playing football. So we are happy with it. So this is again going to be a true statement. Right? And the fourth case is number four. When Raj plays, Raj is neither playing cricket nor he is playing football. Right? So both the statements are false. So if he doesn't play cricket and he doesn't play football, we are not comfortable with it. He needs to play one of the games, right? So this is automatically going to be a false statement, right? So I hope this example is clearing you the truth values of the disjunction operator that we did in the last slide, right? And now let's do this example. Statement A is today's Friday and statement B is it is snowing. So A or B, the disjunction of this will be today is Friday or it is snowing. Right? Okay. So, thank you so much. I hope you understood the disjunction operator. And do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. And share the videos with everyone. And follow the next video for the next operator, negation operator. Thank you so much and have a nice day.